Hello all. This is the World Four Player Chess Championship Round 3B Elimination match between GM Raku89, FM Rezex, and <clears throat> Clash Royale, and 12345, and Tom Merrill, 949. They are playing the classical opening accelerated version. Clash Royale is playing C6 variation. And here we are. Hopped online just in time. Yes, you did. And now, with C6, we have ourselves. I'm not sure what variation to call this. It's been played often, uh, even in the uh, early stages of the uh, classical play. Uh, here we are. So Reza has his queen on k5, which is the most aggressive square for you to put your queen on move 2. Makes it seem like a very strong advantage for red-yellow, but we're going to see if blue could defend here. Uh, queen b7. Raku probably, yeah, Tom Tom knows Raku can play J, uh, j11. And it's going to be okay. I think, yeah, he did play j11. Knight L9, preparing Queen L7. Knight A3. Hmm. Okay. Reza going very fast, playing this very fast. They're actually considering exchanging queens here. After queen takes b8 check, uh, queen takes c8, you have to take back with the knights, and you'll be uh, in an awkward situation. Reza not notices already. Um, yeah, queen there, you uh, have to take with the pawn, it'll be awkward. Or you have to force a or force the queens off the board, which results in this happening. Mmm. How about queen there? Queen takes queen. Mmm. So I'm just going to do a normal developing move here. Hmm. You might have to shield the M10 square with the uh, L11. Because after queen takes, pawn takes, and I think red, red yellow are at a huge advantage here. Yeah, you have to take with the pawn. Queen check. Uh, you're not necessarily... Uh, not necessarily happening with the queen check, because then uh, blue just develops his pawn, no, to d11. Yeah, I like the placement of the queen there, by green. Uh, e3 being prepared, I guess, by red. Don't know. Take, take, take. Uh, yeah, e3. Uh, Rick out. Reza has got a funny idea here. And the, uh, the question now is, do you develop on the king's side? I think you do. You play knight to c9 and push your uh, pawn here and get the rook out. You can even castle, maybe. I guess once the queens are off the board, just put the... the Three regular chess 2400-plus players on the board. Yeah. Um, indeed.
Uh, I think I could verify that. I'm optimized for streaming so I can show everyone that, yes, indeed, 2743 here, Blitz, uh... 2468 blitz and clash is like 2455 or 2422 that's right um yeah we got 22 we're gonna get up to 30 40 again Clash can't go uh, queen or knight to d2 because the queen captures. Rezo and Raku were undefeated in this championship when red-yellow? Yeah, pretty much. Um, I don't think I've seen them lose a red-yellow game. Uh, I don't know, Jay and I played last time and almost got it, actually. I'm really thinking about getting the last queens off the board. Uh, Jim John Ludwig Hammer would uh, uh, want to be narrating this. Now that the queens might be off the board here. He did call that in a move in advance. And it seems that uh, it took uh, Botez a while to figure that out. <laughs> even though the arrows are there. That's quite funny. Anyway. Uh... Rezo likes to push the pawn on uh, K4 to K5. He really does in a lot of these openings. A lot of people think it's overextending. And the queens are off.
where the red rick is right now. Blue green pond structure is solid, says Icy Stun. Might be true. Now, I doubt that time will decide this match. It's very common for top grandmasters to use up their, their clock very early. It cost Valgren Icy Stun the first game of the match against me, though. D5? Mm. I guess knight j3, uh, pawn takes g3, bishop takes bishop. Hmm. No. No. <clears throat> yeah, green should just develop here, I agree. Easier to uh, see it from the sidelines than from your own part of the board. Hmm. Trading. They might just trade knights, apparently. Not trading, trading knights, uh, allied here. I think, uh, pawn push is gonna win a knight. They're gonna, uh, red yellow are gonna win a knight here. Bishop m5? Bishop m5. Oh, I see what's gonna happen. There's gonna be a pawn push. Uh, to hit the i3 knight. No, you push the pawn, you hit the knight. J4. Hmm. Hmm. There is no, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, he sees it. Not really a sec. Oh, wait, wait. He can take the knight here. Because after rook takes knight, uh, pawn takes rook, there's a uh, bishop takes rook. So, I think you can move the rook out of the way. Oh, no, you don't want to do that one. Don't put it on i5. That's the worst square. B6 or A7? B6, probably. No! Wrong square. Yeah, there goes the arrows, and now they're falling apart. Tom's Road at 1200. Yep. There goes the game.
Yeah, Tom has five seconds on his clock. No wonder. I don't like A5, though. Playing two pieces down is blue green. King takes. And there is a castle right there. Brooks in good position for red. The king can actually move to b8 and be safe because the bishop is blocked off by the pawns, so... Yeah. King b8, connect the rooks. Now that rook just moved from a dark to a light square, so that bishop has access to it. Yeah, actually, bishop there and uh, bishop uh, to f4, f6 will win a rook, I think. Yeah, that was, it was winning a piece. I think it was. Maybe not, because then the, tr the rooks are traded. Um... It's one way for green to get active, though. Oh, yeah, and that just, that basically hangs the game here. Yeah. That's it. Red, yellow, um, we'll take this first one, I'm, I'm very sure now. Yes, resign. Pawn takes pawn, desperate move to open the rook file, yeah. Is what I'm guessing, and this is basically over. I'm sure Tom will resign here. <laughs> yeah, I was looking at that square too, but I doubt that will be played. Just bishop takes rook, it's game over. Although, still, uh, how do you play this, though? Down three pieces, including a rook. Play a rook to i5, maybe, and then he takes the blue one, and... Uh, yeah. If I wanted to really play on, then I would have gone... Uh, rook to i10 as a desperate attempt. Try to win the knight, and if they take the blue rook, then greens will not be the last one on the board. And uh, yellow's rooks are on the back rank, so. That would be my way to play on, otherwise I just resign here, I think. Two blue rooks, no good here. Uh, why rook there? Oh, yes. Uh, to try to get the king out. I mean, yeah, I think, uh, you weren't really making any progress here doing, uh, a, a Rook to J5, 10, or K10 type of move, because, uh, yeah, yeah, you may, you hang the Rook, too, so. 
the king is now safe. Reza already shut down the idea. And now Red sees that the bishop cannot be uh, taken. Or, sorry, the bishop, or the, the rook cannot go to j10 because the bishop will be taken. We'll, we'll take it. Yeah. Oh, wow. Already going into back rank here. Uh, knight takes b4, maybe. Forcing the rook trade. They're going to play his first one to an end game. I don't think that would be any good for... I don't think it's healthy for uh, Blue Green to be playing on here. That way, he just opens up the file, the 11th file for... And the other one opens up the 9th file, which is right in front of the king, so... Just resign already so we can make no further comments about this game. Always capture towards the center, yes. Just regular trust principle. 2400. Oh, yes. There goes the rook. That's, that's GG right there. And take, take, and there's another check. It's over. And Tom Merrill finally resigns. No bricks for Blue Green anymore. That's the first game. Uh, yeah. Reza Raku, the two title players from Poland. We'll be taking the first game. D5, that might have been where they went wrong. Yes, I, I agree with that. Now 30 observers. Oh, and then we have our rematch yet? No, we don't. Uh, 36, 36, yeah, um, we will see on the video where we actually went around 35, yeah, don't doubt me, fish. And here we go. Alright, Clash now has uh, the standard Sicilian going. <laughs> uh, game 2, 1 to 0. Alright, Genius and the Force. Yeah. You are spectating a game. Only other spectators will see your messages. Standard Sicilian Caracon mainline. And no Razax Knights, just pawn to d4. Raku, I don't know if I like Queen to m9. Just go. Uh, the way you go L8, and that's pretty standard, uh, pretty standard Sicilian Caracon. Uh, 
L8. Oh, wow. Just don't blunder mate in three, whatever you do. Mate in four, whatever. To put your queen somewhere where you where it won't get attacked. Somewhere where it won't get attacked by yellow. Uh now don't don't move it out so fast. Go bishop here. Bishop J ten. Bishop J ten. Oh no, bishop j10, uh, queen here, then... I guess you go uh, K4. I move two. Wait, I'm nine. Move two. Oh, the knight was already played, so he couldn't play k4. I, I, I had it wrong. How about some k4 action? Or knight f3. I'd go k4. Queen's in a dangerous spot now. How about bishop to j10? Clash does play positionally. I agree with that. Oh yeah, and the queen now defends uh, e3 and d2. It's like in the previous game that, that yellow queen was defending that. E4. Oh, rook J1, that's a positional move. Tom's move is E4, definitely. Alright, attack the queen now, because if the knight moves out, then you got queen takes check, and queen takes mate, and if the queen blocks, and you just take the queen back. Uh, 
actually that's nothing. There is no immediate mate threat here. Mate in 15? Right now? Genius making a call here. He made a good call last time. Let's see if he does it this time. Queen, oh, Queen, yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Queen to h9. Uh, and then Red brings the Bishop here to attack the Queen. Or the Knight here to attack the Queen. Yeah, that's a move right there. Here would attack the green queen, indeed. That's what I would do. Class shouldn't even hesitate to play that. There's a check. Knight takes, queen takes, um, here. Wait, a queen sacrifice here? Wow, that's actually a queen trade. It's a queen trade indeed. Bishop here, uh, take the knight. Oh yes. That's good too. This just busted open the files for Red to take action. Fewer tactics on the board now. Uh, Knight here. Um, watch out for checks if the Knight went here, then the queen would have to move, because then the knight would go here and, and there would be a check. Some time to think about it though. Reza and Raku are basically at a minute here and Clash is 143. Why do you think D12 is a positional move, I guess? Tom's going Tom's gonna do bishop to J10. But Clash insists. D12, very positional, um, Rick there, and I'm 
Wow. They're both 2287. That's a fun fact if I've ever seen one. The queen is still putting pressure on this pawn, but there's really not pressure. He just didn't want the rook to come out. Looks strong, but nah, he doesn't want that. Clash doesn't want that. Yeah, no. Like, what? What's? What are you missing if you take a pawn here? You're just yassering. I guess you take. What happens if you take the pawn? You're in blues camp. Green's going to activate a rook here. They could trade queens, yeah. And yeah, no doubt I like blue-green position better. Red-yellow are definitely playing too passively here. Yeah, queen takes pawn. Do it. Pawn push. Yeah, knight j2. No. No. Too slow. Queen takes knight, you just trade queens. Yep. Yeah, but I disagree with that, Jay. I see more power by uh, red or blue green. I see more power by blue green. Tom sees a move that I never see a single free for all player ever play, and that's like maybe one in a hundred. So my hasty generalization fallacy had just been activated here but still not very many players see that a queen can attack a rook along a long diagonal I try stuff and hope it works, Jay. And now queen check. Queen b6 check. And basically it's lost. Queen 
queen b6 check and That's not going to attack the king, but that's going to attack the rook. This one was better. Can't move it. Oh, bishop here. Okay, that's maybe the one aggressive move I've seen in this game so far. Flag. Knight takes I. Could be the last game here. Let's move twenty. Wait. Let me see something here. Genius, are you onto something? Oh, it's, it's, he said fifteen. That move eight. And say twelve. Oh yeah, it was move eight when he said mate in fifteen. Yeah, it might have been made in fifteen. I could I could check that. Oh the Karakhan. Queen out to K five.
Queen B6. Yeah, who gets credit for H3? I don't know. Probably whoever played the team's game first. I say Lone Wolf gets credit for Knight to I3. I don't know. Uh, see, the first team's game I'd ever seen played by two elite players was the Lone Wolf Martineau. Um, Knight I3, Knight, Knight K4, uh, Knight to uh, M5, and the Queen went here to here in checkmate. It's a three move checkmate, so I kept trying that in my openings when I started. Partners wouldn't listen, of course. They would mouse slip their knight back to the uh, N5 square, actually, if, if I remember correctly. Or I, on the red board, uh, I would tell them to move their knight out, and then they would move it back to J1. Anyway, a lot of blabber. All made sense in my head, but not to everyone else. Oh my gosh. <laughs> They're seriously thinking about getting their rooks out. This is the best by test opening. Credit Icy Stun. I'm going to laugh if they get their rook out to K <laughs> K12. K12, L11. Never mind. You have to guard the diagonal. Otherwise, pawn push, check. It's going to look like a Skywalker attack type of game. Yeah. Made a move 20 21. Made on move 22 ply number 1, probably. Red delivers the mate. If queen takes queen, you have to move a queen to f10. Or just bishop takes bishop.
I give red yellow the advantage here. Once again. Knight b7. Knight a to b7. G4. I like g4 by Reza. No light square bishop here by blue. Green may or may not have enough time to develop here. Night out. What? Oh, now Queen F10. All right, that too. Hiraku has like no pieces out. What are they doing? <laughs> and the rook's coming out. Oh, don't play a passive move. Uh, Bishop is weirdly placed. And the knight can recapture the bishop on g2 if queen takes f2 and bishop check. Yeah, and the, the green team will actually uh, have a hard time. Yeah, yeah, queen takes i13. It's like your only shot. No. Yeah, i13. Although that looks very strong. They just want the queens off the board. Wow. You don't want to put your knight there because bishop takes bishop check. That was a passive move. Very, very passive move.
Just knight d5 and it's game over. Knight d5. What? Knight d5, queen e5, queen j14, and check. I'll have to look through that again, but... Uh, knight k4? Wait, if knight d5, then... What am I missing here? You just take the knight... You just take the knight. What's what's wrong with that? Oh, the queen is under attack. Um, bishop takes check. Yes, bishop takes check. Uh huh. Queen takes queen. Uh huh. Wait. Uh, there could be some significant compensation though. The the knight will sacrifice itself. No. Take. You have to take on i twelve. The knight will have to then have to check. Yep. And the queen will recapture with check. And this does look for this does look. Bad for red, yellow, yeah. Mm, not yet. Oh, wow. And that's the match. Congratulations, Reza and Raku. Title players, and they will move on to round 4A, or round 4B, round 4B. Some, it will be the, uh, it will be 4A, never mind, 4A, and uh, it will be 3-0, uh, Grandmaster Raku89 and uh, Giddy Master Rezax. Congratulations. Tomaj uh, Warkomsky and Wuschek Reza. That'll be it for this one. Thank you for watching.